Hi, so for this video I thought I'd go through how I do my eye makeup. Now this is not a tutorial but um, more just of um, an example of how I do it. So I'm going to do a very basic eyeshadow look uh, using um, a very simple palette. This is by NYX, it's a shadow palette. Um, I think it's got a name, Warm Neutrals. Just got those colours in it, so they're the browns, and uh, just going to go in for a very basic eye look. So we'll be using shadow, eyeliner, and mascara. So I've already done my foundation, my pressed powder, done my lip, and I've done my eyebrows. So um, I have what's called hooded eyes. So as you can see here, this skin folds over most of my eyelid which makes putting on makeup a bit of a pain, but a lot of people do have hooded eyes, so you've just got to do the best that you can do. Now, how I'm going to start is I'm going to use this two-sided brush. got an angled brush this end and a um, blending brush this end. So first thing I'm going to do is use a different brush. <laughs> And I'm going to use this very light colour here and I'm going to just apply that to the whole eyelid. Starting from the inner corner. And the point of doing this is that it lightens the eyelid and then creates a nice contrast for the darkest shadow that I'm going to be putting on next. So you can put that on with a trowel if you wish. as I have to. And normally when I do my makeup, I don't have my hair on at this stage, so I'm finding this a bit hard because the hair keeps getting in the way and falling down. I'm just going to go into the crease a little bit. Like I say, I want the darker colour to really contrast. Go right into the corner of your eye. Just have a little bit going onto the lower lash line. Just brightens up the inner eye. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but um, it's a bit lighter. Right, so we've done with that brush now. So we are going to choose, so I'm going to use one shadow for this. So I'm going to choose this earthy colour here, like a deep terracotta. So I'm going to use the angle brush. I'm going to put plenty on it. And then what I'm going to do is draw an arc just above my crease line. So there's the crease line. I'm just going to go just above it. So 
And don't worry, this doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to blend this out. So you see, because my eye is hooded, now you can't see the colour. That's why I'm going above the crease line. And don't be afraid, it's just makeup. If it goes wrong, you can wash it off. So now I've gone higher, you can maybe just make out a bit of the colour. I go a little bit higher. You can just see the colour poking through, hopefully. So we'll do the other side. Same thing again. Above the crease line. I'm just being nosy, my neighbours are going in the garden. You can pull funny faces while you do this as well. Pulling the skin a little bit tighter. So there you go, you can still see a little bit of shadow right at the very edges there. Okay, now what we're going to do, I'm going to add the same colour and I'm going to add it underneath the eye and join them together. So I'm going to pick a third of the way across, roughly. close to the lash line. And there you go, they're linked up. You'll probably see clearer on this side. Okay, so I've gone a bit further on that side, so I'll just try and make it symmetrical. Now, with the other side of the brush, this is the, I'm going to smudge this out using the blending. So I'm just going to go very gently on the very edge and blend without dropping the palette and everything else. I'm going to blend the eyeshadow out just a little bit and drag it into the inner of my eye. So that it fades 
towards the inside of the eye. Same this side. Just take your time doing this. And remember to breathe. <laughs> Okay, so that's a little bit smoother now. So now we're going to use this again, but we're going to now go into the crease. That's quite strong line we've drawn. And we're now going to start blending this out. And we're going to go up first. Blend it upwards and across. So we're dragging the colour up and out. And we're going to go maybe two thirds towards the inner corner of the eye. Okay, and the other side. Dragging it into the inner corner of the eye, two thirds in, and up and out. And then I'm just going to drag the lower colour line just out a little bit there. So hopefully that is just enough to your eyes, my eyes, with just the one shade, apart from the light shade I applied all over the eyelid, that was just for contrast. Okay, so at the moment it doesn't look amazing, but we're now going to go on to the bit that kind of brings it all together. So we're going to use the um, eyeliner pencil. So I'm just going to use my small blusher brush just to hold this 
skin taut and then I'm going to go onto the lower water line, the inner corner and drag out about halfway across. Same the other side. And then we're going to do the upper water line. So it's easy if you just slightly angle your head upwards, look up, and drag the side of the pencil along the upper lash water line. Again, only halfway across. And sometimes this makes your eyes water, which isn't good. So that can make your makeup run too. <laughs> So I want to just make sure that's got a nice coating, especially in the corner. I'm going to just drag the outer corner out just a little bit with the pencil to make a nice dark corner, outer corner. And for me, the eyeliner is the kind of almost there look. So I'm going to do mascara now. We're going to use the eyelash curlers. Try to grab all of your eyelashes in one go and roughly hold for 10 seconds. Or hold roughly for 10 seconds. Of course, you can also use false eyelashes, but I've never had much success with false eyelashes. Okay, so I use Max Factor 2000 calorie dramatic volume. Um, I don't think you're supposed to eat it. It's not a um, meal in a tube. So I'm going to just Feather the lashes all the way across. Try and coat them from the base to the tip. And then go right into the corner. Try and drag them up so that it gives the appearance that your eyes are wider than they are, open wider. And then the base, I do go all the way along. And breathe. <laughs> Terrible for holding my breath. And try not to stab yourself in the eye. The mascara. Right, re dip, re coat. To the second side. myself on the eyeball again.
And there we go. I hope you'll agree with me that um, although it's only a one shadow eye makeup, the change is quite dramatic from having no eyeshadow, no mascara, and no eyeliner. It's a lot more glam, but at the same time, it is quite toned down. Now, you could make it more glamorous and use a gel liner. I do have somewhere. So this is a black gel basically and it's a very very fine point on it. You can see if the camera picks that up and basically you can go in right above your eyelashes on your top line and make the base really dark but um, although the effect is really good I tend to um, mess it up so I'm not going to mess it up because in a minute we're going live in five minutes so I need to be ready and not looking like a clown that's been crying <laughs> so anyway yes I hope you found that useful if you do your own makeup and um, give it a go. If you've been struggling, you don't need to use lots of colours. Just pick a light base colour to start off from your inner eye and then a nice dark colour, go above your crease line and then blend it out. And I think that's quite subtle. So thank you for watching and take care. See you in the next one. Bye.